Solid, liquid, gas. What phase of matter is the most abundant in our solar system? Answer? None of these. There's a fourth state of matter called plasma. Our sun and all stars are huge balls of plasma. This makes plasma the most abundant phase of matter within any solar system. Plasma is neatly described as an ionized gas. There are numerous ways to create a plasma. All of them involve the input of energy, which goes to zapping electrons away from their atoms. Here's a neon atom with its 10 positively charged protons in the nucleus, perfectly balanced by 10 orbiting electrons. Here's a cartoon snapshot of a bunch of neon atoms in the gaseous phase. Of course, in real life, you know they're moving about wildly. Let's apply a high voltage and see what happens. The high voltage strips electrons away from the atoms. The atoms thus become positively charged ions, which means they have more protons than electrons. The loose electrons bounce around wildly. And there you have it, an ionized gas. You have plasma. Neon plasma glows a bright red and makes for great signage. Like a metal, plasma conducts electricity. Because of all the moving charges, plasma is also affected by a magnet. Neon signs, fluorescent lights, street lights, our sun, even the aurora are all made of plasma, neatly described as an ionized gas. Good energy. Mm-hmm.